Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Oswego for the 16th race in the 2021 NRSL Jerky Pro Truck Series. It's been about a month since we've had a Jerky Pro race, but we are back for some dirt track racing since the events that unfolded at Pukekohe over in New Zealand back in July. Six races to go in the season. Baranowski gets your points leader coming in. And Vince Freeze is with me in the booth as James Ellison is on pole. Like you said, Zach, James Ellison has an opportunity here at Oswego Dirt. Known for its great leg effect snow, but today we're on dirt. We're going to mix it up. We got, like I said, Andre Baranowski in fifth. Got some leechers in here as well that could play a factor. And we know dirt racing can always be wild with some three wide racing at times. But that's it for me. Back to you on the pre race grid. So Ellison gets his third pull on the season, tying Audra Baranowskis. They are the only drivers top five in the points with three pulls on the year. To his outside is Christian Vargas, who had that good run at North Wilkesboro. Row two, Benjamin Ice and Nico Tringali, one of our three leechers in the field today. Baranowskis, fresh off her second win of the season, will start fifth. Next to her is Allison Rain, getting her third start on the year. Still looking for a career win number one down here in the Jerky Pro Truck Series. Row four, Joshua Teppensaw and Zachary Delello. And in row five, the Sanfers of Gene Sanfer and Henry Sanfer. As we go through the rest of the field, there's just one uh, former winner at this track, and that is Dylan Young, who drove the number 29 truck. Sam Young drives it this season, so we'll see if Sam can make his way up from the outside, but it's going to be tough moving your way forward at first if you're starting on the top, and as of course, per every short track race, no caution flags, which that is something we did have here when we ran here in 2018 was caution flags. You see the rest of the starting grid. The other leech in the field today is the 33 of Logan York. So 60 lap race. Looking at the point standings, Baranowskis comes in with a 35 point advantage over Gatlin Downey, 53 over Sack Rogers, 66 over James Ellison, and 104 over Jonathan Wong. Yael Carrillo and Max Anderson are both 114 back. Henry Sanford is 141 back, Gene Sanford 159 back, and Donovan Cage 169 points back. Still not in that window yet where we're going to start eliminating people from title contention, as after tonight there will be five races left to go in the season. Trackside for the command. We had a wild race here back in 2018. We'll see if we can get a wild one to happen yet again. This is a big, big race for some guys, uh, Vince, you know. Baranowski started pulling away with that second win at Pukekohe, and they don't want her to start pulling away even more. No, you don't need it. I'm going to take us to green here. It's James Ellison, Christian Vargas. It's a Swigo dirt, and we're green flat racing, baby. Unlike Bristol on the dirt, these trucks will not be going too fast through the corner. See, only about 75 mile an hour through the corner and up to about 95 into the turns. See, Ellison trying to fight back on the top. We talked about that three wide racing in the pre race. We do see that in the back of the pack. The front, though, could be key here if Ellison can clear Baron Ellison. The outside is not where you want to be early, as we see some four wide almost. But yeah, four wide with Rodgers and Rodgers. Good sack Rogers all the way in the bottom. That's Tringali on the top, not Nate Rogers. Oh man, look at this four wide racing there. Sack's got it all the way on the bottom. Great driving by Rain and Max Anderson there to keep it clean. As Benjamin Ice is leading. Look at Gene Sanford trying to move up to moving into the top five, actually. <clears throat> Ellison's gonna hold off Oranowskis for second for now. Ranowska's not giving up those. Here comes the 39. There's a man who hasn't won a race yet this season. Or in, yeah, his, goes there. Or in his jerky pro career, for that matter. 
he's got to go. I mean, he's not making any points with Baranowski's right ahead of him. I think it's it's a must win for Zach Ryder. It's not out of the contention, but Baranowski keeps running this way. You got to start winning. And no sign of Gatlin Downey inside the top ten for now. There's the 75. He is currently running in 28th place. Not the run you want to be having here today. Ooh, all contact. As the 74 of Jonathan Wong, a few positions ahead of him, and that's our top five in the point standings. Baranowskis will get by Allison for second, and now Rogers looking to get by him for third and challenge Baranowskis for second, as Henry Sanford is now making his way forward. Oh, but Rogers bottomed out there. Baranowskis got a good run at the top. I wonder if the bottom will start to wear out a little bit with the dirt. It's not as compact, and the top might get a little momentum, especially with the draft here. You don't want it. You don't want to be at the top, way top, but middle line could prevail, like Sanford you see on the no right there. You see Henry unable to do anything on the bottom three wide next to Gene and Ellison. But Ellison so far has been making the top work very well. He just needs to find a way to get to the bottom. He is just fighting to not go backwards. But right now Baranowska is looking to extend her points lead. As not seeing any of the leeches really have a big showing so far tonight, Vince. I mean, Allison Rain is the highest one right now. In uh, both the rain start, she has finished inside the top five, so we'll see if she can continue that tonight. And this is a home track race for her. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, Watkins Glen was the other one. But, no, I think rain, rain it just hasn't been the leecher of the year. I mean, Fitzwater's won a couple. We know how good Charles Sanford is. And, of course, you know, the nine, the nine truck. But Zach Rogers looking for second up ahead. Benjamin Ice? I think Benjamin Ice leading is a little surprising. I guess Ice and Dirt might mix well tonight. We'll see. And this has, we haven't really talked about Jerky Pro silly season, but, you know, this is Zach Rogers' only season in Jerky Pro. He's going full ownership route uh, next year. And Benjamin Ice is actually one of those drivers taking one of the open seats. Uh, Deanna Jones won't be returning either. And Benjamin Ice is one of the drivers taking one of those rides. I forget which it is. Uh, if it's the 39 or the 99. But the other driver taking one of those rides is Lucas Catano. So Ice and Catano, who were part-time in the 25 GMS Chevy back in 2019, will be on the same team once again in 2022. Yeah, and next year we don't know. There's a lot of unknowns with the schedule. There's still a lot of unknowns. Of I don't think we're going to have a playoff format, but there's still unknowns with the schedule, and I'm sure we'll have more rumors about rides and whatnot. I don't think Ellison, I think he's moving up full time, right? You gotta yeah. make a decision. Yep. If he you're is, running trucks. You, you yep. can't you can't run trucks and cup full time if you're a veteran of both. Right. So That's Ellison that. Ellison running his rookie campaign this year in Cup. So this is his final hurrah in the truck series. So he wants that title after what happened to him in the final four of Texas last year. So you see him making a move on Baranowska's here for third. As Rogers is closing up on Benjamin Ice, and there's the move that was inside. Rogers seems to have had the best truck tonight, Vince. And after 15 races, it's kind of been a surprise that with Rogers' experience level, he hasn't won a race yet this year. But he takes the lead tonight on lap 15 of 60, 25% of the way through this thing. At zero pit stops tonight. It's all about driver's skill and talent. We'll see if that prevails. But no look down, Zach. The bad girl herself is coming, Allison Rain, hometown hero. And James Ellison, too, right? Yeah. Surprisingly, James Ellison as well. I mean, no wins. <laughs> 16 races in almost. One of these guys can't win tonight. It's, it could be a winless season for one of these guys. I think we did say one veteran would, in the preseason prediction would have a winless season. But we don't, I don't remember who. Uh, I just mentioned that, you know, I think seven laps ago, but if Ellison could get to the bottom, I think he'd be flying and. He got to the bottom, and he made quick work of Baranowskis, but Rain is there. You see minimal tire wear, really, right now. Only about a tenth of a second. Fastest lap belongs to Allison Rain, though, with a 20.690. Ellison is third on that list. Rogers is fourth. 
So while I think Rain's got a good shot at this thing, it's going to be tricky, I think, for her to get by Ellison and Rogers, as you see. The, both of these drivers are closing up on Benjamin Ice. And how about Dilan Ibrahimian? We haven't really talked about the rest of the field tonight, but Ibrahimian up to sixth place. Teppensaw is holding his own so far in ninth as Yael Carrillo has just moved into the top ten, passing Christian Vargas. How about Donovan Cage? He's also been making his way forward silently up to 13th. There's Lucas Catano. We just mentioned also replacing somebody at Bulldog next year. As there's the only other leecher tonight, Logan York. Actually, Nico Tringali is nowhere to be seen, and Nico has fallen down the 30th. Nice, Nico. Oh, battle for third. Oh, battle for the wow! Battle for the lead. Benjamin Ice making a move back on Sack Rogers for the lead as Rain makes a move on Ellison for third. Right now, Ice is showing Zach, like, you made a good decision to sign me. Because he's racing him for the lead. Problem is all this battling might just put Allison Rain in the driver's seat. Ice will take the lead back. Coming into this race, Benjamin Ice is 12th in the points with five top 10s on the season. So still looking for top five number one on the year. And as you just mentioned, as Ice goes back to the lead, here comes Allison Rain looking for second. I think it's a matter of time. I think Rain just has the fastest truck. And well, I don't know though, obviously we don't have the long run metrics and whatnot over the 15 laps, but it just looks like Rain can turn the center better and diamond the corner, which is typical around short and dirt tracks. You diamond the center, you get a great runoff, and then you can get your entry shallowed up a little bit. It has that breather. Now can Rogers get around ice for a second? We'll see, this could be critical for the race. Rain will take the lead away from Benjamin Ice here coming to lap 25. Rogers right there battling back to her inside. This could be the battle for the rest of the race as Dylan Ibrahimium is making a move on Audra Baranowskis for fifth. That is crucial in Ellison and Rogers on the championship because that takes away three points from the 21. If I'm not mistaken, Penske hasn't won either this year. This could be big for Penske. Now Rogers gets back to the lead here, but can he hold it? I think he will. He's not clear just yet. Brain making making it difficult there on the outside line. Bit of a good run there for her off of turn four. They're running almost even lap times there, top to bottom. And Zach Rogers will clear Rain for the lead. Coming to lap 28. Let's see if Rain puts the crossover on him. Not quite yet. Ice is going to go for a hole here, though, in turn two. As now Henry Sanfer is looking to pass Baranowskis for a position, so that would be another two points to Rogers and Ellison's advantage. That's what they need. they got to keep pushing Baranowskis back. Now, the rest of the field, the little gap between, I think that's the 78 Tepin's all, and then I guess the next Sanfer. But we'll see what happens here. Carrillo's up there. Henry Sanford will clear Baranowskis for position as Benjamin Ice clears Rain for second. So I don't know, Vince. Looked like Rain had the truck there for a moment, but now it looks like they're all pretty much about even. And it's funny because tire wear, you think, oh, man, I don't think we'll see. Like Downey, that's a big, big blow to the championship if he can't get it back up there. Downey has been struggling all night. Now he's outside the top 35. Sam Young also struggling. You see Tringali continue to fall backward. Jonathan Wong, Max Anderson has been going backwards. Enzo Nereza trying to move forward. He'll be back to Bulldog Motorsports next season. Oh, and that's the other thing I forgot to mention there, Vince. Colt Hudson is in the same boat as James Ellison. I cannot seem to find the 93. So there will actually be three new drivers at uh, Bulldog Motorsports next year, and it is rumored that there will be a rookie driver over there, but it is not known at this time who it will be. And as we mentioned, we don't know 
off the top of our heads here what trucks out of the 39, 93, and 99 uh, Katano and Ice will be taking. But Hudson is also moving up to run Digital Storm full-time next year, so he will be no longer able to run Tricky Pro under the rules. It's a good rule, though. It's, it's for, oh, three wide there. It freshens the competition up. It gives people a lot of chances that they never would have thought of. And the leechers that do come down, you can learn from them as well, which is always nice. It seems like everyone's through the midfield has been cordial, nothing too aggressive. And up in front, it's just been a bloodbath of five or six cars, or trucks, excuse me. Brad Lewis will be back to Stort Haas next year for his second season. No word yet on any other re-signees. A lot of Digital Storm Cup Series news we went over, over several drivers such as uh, Stephen Cologne and whatnot. Those guys won't be back next year under the rules. Some of those double duty guys. So we see Rain passing Ice back for second. Ibrahimium has made it up to fourth. Ellison, uh oh, falling back a little. Carrillo's made it up to eighth, charging towards Baranowskis. Ibrahimium, of course, will be back for Penske next year. It's been about a quiet season for him. Only 17th in the standings this year. So he puts a move on Benjamin Ice. One top five and one top ten on the season for the driver of the 22. And I just want to touch on something regarding the top four in the points that are really have a shot at this championship right now. Baran Auskas, two wins, seven top fives, nine top tens. Average starting position of 10th. Downey, five top five, seven top tens. Average starting position of 12th. No pulse for Downey or Sack Rogers. Rogers with five top fives and seven top tens as well. His average starting position is 18th. And he has been moving his way through the field pretty much every week, Vince. I mean, qualifying has been a big problem for him this year. And I guess you could put the blame to not having a win on his qualifying routine. And then lastly, Ellison, four top fives, nine top tens, with an average starting position of 12th, and of course the third pull tonight, tying Baranowskis' is three, as Rain is looking for the lead again on the 39. The way these trucks handles that, you want a looser setup in qualifying from what I've noticed, and maybe the crew chief of Rogers is going for more race pace setup. There's nothing wrong with that, a little more downforce, but a lot of these races at Dirtlet, for example, are 50, 60, 70 laps at most. And these races are short. You don't really have much time to make a move, and with no pit stops tonight, it's all about one setup change, and that was before the race. And we saw Rogers go four wide there in the beginning, and that was a big move for him moving through the field as Carrillo just took seventh away from Baranowskis, and Teppensaw had been holding his own tonight. He's the only rookie inside the top ten, running in ninth, as you see a big gap back from Gene Sanford to Vargas from tenth to eleventh, and then an even bigger gap from Cage to Catano, thirteenth to fourteenth. Of a third. Ibrahimium. And the lead. Ibrahimium took third away from Ice. Ice is going to take it back as now Rain is looking for the lead back on the 39 of Sack Rogers. Less than 20 to go. That time by 18 laps to go. And I think it's far from over even as Rain takes the lead away from the 39 here. Now, with the experience level of both, it's, uh, it's probably going to be a chess match. There's really no such thing as a reference point on Dirt. I mean, there is, but there isn't in reality because there'd be dirt kicked all over the place but you just have to find out what line you're running and try to diamond diamond the corner better because that's how you win the races on dirt in the short tracks it's how you diamond the center of the corner as you see Ibrahimi underneath for ice looks like that's the best of the rest right now Zach. i think uh ellison for his championship hopes at least baronowska is, is slipping and that's good for the field yeah, he's not going to gain a ton of points here but if he can get another position inside the top five that would be three more points for him as Moran Askas actually looks like she might be coming under fire from Teppensaw and Gene Sanfer. And Rain is starting to inch away, but we've Ooh. got lap traffic, Vince. And just want to compare lap times here. You see Rain running a 749, Sack Rogers an 882. But these guys back here are running 21 0s, 21 1s. So they are about th th two, two to four tenths off pace. 14 Good laps to go, but it looks like Rain's inching away from Rogers now at this point. 
That's not by much, but I, I wonder if that dirty air will now start coming into play on the front nose of rain. Might wash up a little bit in turns three and four here. You know, it's like we haven't done an onboard lap all now. Let's do let's do an onboard lap for those fans. See the one and two there. Rain just looking at the lap traffic. A little gas on the straightaway. A little bit off the brake, not much. Diamonds the center right there. He gets the run on top of the acceleration. That's the lap around Swigo Dirt, 21 seconds about. Rogers closing back in down the three tenths. You know, I think this track's mostly about rhythm since we haven't seen any tire wear really. I wouldn't count out the 39 just yet. The rest of the field, though, they have fallen backwards. And lap traffic could really make things interesting here. Rogers closing up again. Another eight hundredths of a second there. Ten laps to go this time by. I don't know where Ray's going to catch that lap traffic. I don't know. I don't know. This is... I guess you don't want to catch the lap traffic in the middle of the straightaway, but at the same time, you don't want to catch in the corner. It just depends how nice they are. I think the first one's Smith. Yeah, that's Patrick Smith there in the 37. Downey, oh, that's a... 27th in the points coming in. Downey is going to lose a ton of points to Baran, Alskis, Ellison, and Sack Rogers today. And if you got to think, Zach, we're almost done. The season's almost done. Bristol Dirt, another dirt race is next. And then we start getting into some interesting tracks. We know Papyrus is on the schedule. That's always a wild place. But in Bristol Dirt, too. But we're running out of time. There's not much races left in this season. And Bristol Dirt is actually our next race. That is two weeks away. And so Ooh. there it is. Patrick Smith's going to hold up Allison Rain. And Rogers will go to the inside to capitalize. What? Patrick Smith almost cut off Rogers. I was a little nervous. Now, how can Rogers get past this lap traffic? That's so, going to be how you win the race. Oh. Seven to go. See, even Rogers struggling a little bit to get to his inside, but there's the move. Will Rain follow right by? Ibrahimium closing up the gap. Yep. Uh, where, you can, Nick. where you can get blocked by one lap truck, you can get blocked by another. Don't count out Allison Rain. She's had the truck of the night. Oh, right there. Right, the water running center. What do you do if you're Rogers? He's going to stay high. No, he's peeking oh. low. He's peeking Three low. What? Rain's peeking low, too. That's tight. Five to go at the start finish line. Rain has to lift. Can't get it to stick there on the bottom three wide. And now Next look, one Zach is Rogers is looking at the back bumper of somebody he's fighting in the points. You know, Downey's going to make this hard as possible. He doesn't want to. I mean, I know he's not going to get any points, but he's just trying to make it hard. But he looks like he'll make it easy here. It is a five-point difference from winning the race to finishing second, and that's big for Rogers here. That could be at the difference maker, depending on how the rest of these races go. I'll catch Owen Miles, I think, though. Three laps to go. Ibrahimium still third, Ice fourth, Ellison in fifth, Baranowskis in eighth. Oh, Apparently, rain, it looks rough. like Baranowskis might be under fire from Teppensaw, and that is the case. Teppensaw up to eighth. Zach's got to get lower. I, 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 Zach's got to get lower. If you know what I'm saying, uh, to get this win because uh, he's leaving the door wide open for Ray. Oh, that the was a good move. He blocked her down low there, as they cut caught Owen Miles there. Two to go at the line, coming to the white flag. Rain lost a bit of time there in turn one and two. White flag is out. Is this the time? One of these drivers is going to get their first career Jerky Pro Truck Series win. He's got a dime in his corner. Oh. Oh, careful. I don't think it's going to matter. I think Rogers has got it because I don't think Rain can get to the back bumper. Side by side in front of him. Oh, Rain's diving it in there. Bouchard holding up the 39. Checkered flag in the air. Not enough time. Sack Rogers is a jerky pro truck series winner. And the comments are filled with the R word. Is Kev here? I, I, I mean, uh, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, 
But just think it took this man five seasons to get that first career Jerky Pro Truck Series win, and he only has the one Digital Storm Cup Series win, so you can say that word all you want. You're wrong. Now you know what it's called, buddy. It's called Trust the Process. Sorry. As a oh. pit, road, oh. pit road shenanigans. See, this is why we don't do pit stops here. I'm just going to change the camera angle here. But uh, Zach Rogers with his first career Jerky Pro Truck Series win and a big one at that as Baranowskis fell down to ninth there at the end. What a run by Teppensaw to get eighth. Rain will get her third top five. She's got two more races, two more chances at a win here this season. Ibrahimium third, good run for him. Same for Benjamin Ice in fourth, pretty unexpected. Ellison in fifth. We'll gain a few points there over Baranowskis. Henry Sanford 6th, Carrillo 7th, as mentioned, Teppin saw 8th, and Baranowskis 9th. And then Gene Sanford rounding out the top 10 as Donovan Cage climbed it up to 11th right at the end of that thing. A few notable drivers here, Friesen 13th, Catano 14th. Nereza was inching forward all night up to 16th. Jack James 22nd, Colt Hudson 25th, Anderson 28th. Um, Logan York 29th, Tringali 30th, Jonathan Wong 33rd. That's going to hurt him big time in the championship battle. Sam Young 35th, and of course Gatlin Downey in 40th. Well, that'll do it for us today. We'll see you guys next week for the Digital Storm Cup Series at Island Rally. Always a fun event as we continue our dirt track uh, stretch of the season. So see you guys then. I don't know.